How do people make it look so comfortable to record from the car? There's like literally no space. Hi, I'm Jo and my wife Viv absolutely loves Christmas and she also loves surprises. She's the type of person that happy cries when I make her lunch for work or when I clean the house alone when we were supposed to do it together. So making surprises for her is also super rewarding and seeing her smile is just my favorite thing. So I'm so excited for this. Every year we buy those advent calendars, the chocolate ones for each other. Uh, but this year we have a two month old daughter and V is breastfeeding her and she has a diary intolerance and intolerance to generally few things. So V also had to cut a lot of things from her diet, which makes it impossible for me to just buy her a normal generic uh, advent calendar like I would do any other year so this year uh, I was looking for like some vegan ones but I didn't find anything perfect so I thought it's just like a great opportunity to make a personalized one for her maybe with her favorite chocolates or some little pieces of other thing Christmas thing I'm not sure what I will find yet uh, last week when we were in TK Maxx I saw this empty uh, advent calendar with like empty boxes that you can fill in with your own things so I'm just back now to TK Maxx and I'm hoping it's still there please um, so yeah that's what I'm gonna go grab now I'm obviously posting this before 24th of December which is the last day of the advent calendar so Viv, if you're watching this leave now seriously there will be consequences just leave now so yeah let's go grab it Unfortunately, when I got to the game max, I found out that the calendars I've seen before are sold out and it made me really sad because they were literally perfect size and had those like little drawers. Uh, but I found many others, they were wooden and super cute, but the compartments for gifts were tiny, which I knew is going to be a problem and limit my gift choices. But since I didn't have much choice, I just chose my favorite one and headed to the checkout. On the way I came across another calendar and although it wasn't wooden and skewed, it had bigger gift compartments, so I decided to go with that one. I really wanted to be able to fit things like maybe Christmas socks and it wouldn't be possible in the wooden one. I also found a candle that I hope will fit because V absolutely loves candles from TK Maxx, especially in the Christmas season. This one smelled so good. Then I went to a few other shops with like beauty things because I remember V mentioned she needs a sponge for makeup removal and one for makeup application. This part was tough, I won't lie. I got to the sponges department and there were like 50 plus sponges looking identical. Like how are you supposed to choose one? I just got the biodegradable one because it was the only one that stood out for me and at least it'll be better for the planet. In the meantime, V called me and told me that she needs my help with our baby at home, so I had to hurry up and didn't record this part. But I also got a few other things that I will show you at home. Okay, so I am back at home and I think I got everything I needed. I ordered also some stuff online because I we live in like this little town in Poland, so it's not like we have a huge selection of vegan chocolate shops so I had to order some stuff online uh, which I'm gonna show you and I think I'm ready to assemble the box to be honest I I am super happy with it and it's it's cuter than I remembered it so let's get to it so that's our calendar this is how it looks inside so we have 24 even parts compartments for the gifts and there are some stuff that I got in the shopping mall and two boxes that I got online. Yes, I am sitting on the floor because on the floor nothing can fall, which is way better. Uh, I wanted to do this like little unboxing and, you know, see it for the first time with you, but I'm super impatient and I just opened it straight away as it came. So now I'm going to pretend that I haven't seen it before and you're going to pretend that you believe me. So in this box, yes, that's how we open it. I, I have seven different lip balms. This is V's favorite lip balms that she uses all the time and I ordered every single flavor that she hasn't tried yet. Uh, so this is one of the uh, things I will be putting in the calendar. And in that box, Our sweets. 
this is one of her favorite chocolates. We always laugh that it's called Vivani and her name is Viviana, so it was meant to be. And I got them in this super cute little sizes so I can put them for different days. I also got other types of chocolates, some vegan cookies, chocolate lollipops, mm, fruit nuts. I don't even remember to be honest. Oh, I also got these, which is like a very typical Polish sweet. Usually it's not vegan. Uh, but V actually likes the vegan chocolate version version way better. This is called Krówka and it's kind of like Caramel or just like sugar with cream thing. It's very sweet. If, if you like sweet things, you would probably enjoy that a lot And then I also got this Christmas tea from V's favorite brand from teas It's one of those brands that have those quotes on the uh, tea bags, you know, the motivational life quotes uh, some nuts and chocolate some chocolate bars and I've got five pairs of Christmas socks the candle that I've already shown you a silver scrunchie I already got V a scrunchie but I stole it from her so now I have to get her another one that sponge, our makeup removal sponge, some face masks and a Christmas set from the body shop that I'm gonna split into different days. So yeah, let's assemble it all together. I think I'm just gonna write down the numbers in this so I don't do similar things for days that are next to each other. Okay, that's way better. By the way, my handwriting is usually way better when I'm not writing inside of a deep cardboard box. Just so you know. I'm just curious, I've heard that in America you celebrate Christmas on the 25th of December, like you open the gifts in the morning on the 25th. In Poland we do it in the evening of the 24th, so we have the Christmas dinner on the 24th. And then the you know tradition says that when you see the first star on the sky, it's when you're supposed to open the gifts, but you know, sometimes the days are just gray and cloudy and there's just no stars. So we just open the gifts after the dinner, usually, but everything happens on 24th, so our advent calendars have 24 days. If you're from America, let me know in the comments if your advent calendars have 25 days, if you open the gifts on 25th, or that's totally irrelevant. I don't really know the history of advent calendars. Yeah, let's continue. Okay, so just very quickly, this is more or less how the whole thing looks like and we've got five pairs of socks, Christmas socks obviously, the candle, the sponge, beauty sponge something, the scrunchie, face masks, makeup removal sponge, nuts in chocolate, chocolate bars, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate lollipops, chocolate, seven different lip balms, uh, body butter, shower gel, uh, lip butter i think this is like a sponge to wash with i'm not really sure it came in the set the candies chocolate some vegan cookies christmas tea with inspirational quotes and some fruit snacks and now i'm gonna put them in here i'm not really sure how to like arrange it i was at the beginning thinking that every day could have like a non-edible gift and then a chocolate or like a little little treat but I don't think I have enough of non-edible gifts to do this and also like some of them are so big that I don't think I will fit anything else so I'm just gonna start from like the most important dates so for example the 10th on 10th November it's an our anniversary so we always like treat it as a special day uh, so I'm just gonna try to make that one more special than others and yeah let's see all right so this is how it looks after filling it up i was rearranging it for a long time and I hope that now every day has something 
sweet and exciting so I think it's finally the time you can close this up I really like how it looks and I really hope that we will like it as well I'm just gonna wrap it now real quick So that was definitely not real quick but it's done and today is the 30th of November so I'm gonna give it to V tomorrow and hopefully we'll try to post it tomorrow as well. I know it's not like anything super fancy but I know she will appreciate it so yeah thank you for watching and let me know in the comments what you would put in an advent calendar like this uh, if you were making one or if you did make one and yeah. Let's get this to V. It's time! Baby? Oh. I have an early Christmas gift for you. For me? Yeah. Wow! Do you think we should maybe swap? I take Bebe and yes. you take this. Yes. <laughs> A little break for mom life. Okay, now I have to open my gift. I love this wrapping paper. <laughs> Not so like we chose cute. it together. Yeah, but doesn't mean I don't love it. Yeah. Why you keep it flat? One gift for each day? Do I have to go on one? Well, it's an advent calendar. What is today? Is today the first? Right. I don't see. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Whenever I open advent calendars, I can... <laughs> every day I swear no, there's no one. There's no two. Ah, oh, there's one here. Ah, so cute. By the way, this is so cute, baby. Thank you. How do I do it? Okay, this opening system wasn't very well designed. <laughs> Not sure. I'm not sure if she will put the chocolate every day, but I think so. <laughs> oh my god, this is the best gift I've ever had. I'll have one for each day until Christmas. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. We'll have to do the same for Ivy when she's older. Yeah. Is this a tradition? Will I have one every year? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. 